In this video, I'm going to be exposing the truth about boudoir photographers who are earning over $5,000 for their sessions. And when I'm done, you might just realize that you can do it too. But first I wanna show you these invoice sheets from real clients that I've had to show you how much people are actually spending on their boudoir shoots. So this one here, this client spent $5,372.50. This client, $6,944, $7,665. And this one, this one actually kind of blew my mind. This is my highest sell yet, but now I know what's possible. She spent $9,307.50. Holy And if you're asking yourself who in their right mind would ever spend that much money on boudoir pictures, just watch these women as they see their pictures for the very first time. Holy <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh my God. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my F. Oh my god. What? That's it. <laughs> <laughs> that last one always gets me. Now people everywhere are spending these huge amounts on boudoir photography. And that is because boudoir is a transformational, sometimes life-changing experience. Now people aren't just going around willy-nilly spending thousands of dollars on just the first photographer that comes up in their Instagram page. To be able to book these high paying clients, you need to show up consistently in your business over and over and over again. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you eight, eight, eight of the main things that you need to convey in order to make this possible for your photography business. So the very first one is going to be to build trust with your potential clients. They have to be able to trust you before they ever walk in the door. And there are a lot of ways to build trust. You can do it with past client testimonials. You can do it with videos of you taking pictures behind the scenes. Videos of clients enjoying themselves. Whoa. <laughs> oh my God, I love doing this. <laughs> <laughs> And they need to know that you are passionate about boudoir, that this isn't just somebody who decided to go buy a camera and just give it a shot. Maybe they can make an extra couple of dollars. They need to know that you will be able to help them along every step of the way and that no matter who they are, they will have an incredible experience. The next thing you're gonna need is an amazing, distinct and powerful brand. They have to want you, not just boudoir pictures. They have to want your boudoir pictures. So when your messaging becomes extremely clear and goes beyond just a simple, boudoir is more than pretty pictures. Everyone deserves to feel beautiful. They will be willing to spend more money with you over the next person. They will even be willing to travel a long distance to come shoot with you. Do you remember, here it is, the client that spent $7,665 flew from Texas to LA to come shoot with me. Now. Obviously there are incredible boudoir photographers in Texas and everywhere in between, but because of my strong brand that she connected to, she was willing to make the trip literally by air to come shoot with me. And the type of person that connects with your brand in that way is going to be willing to travel distances and spend more money, even though it's less convenient. And you're gonna need your brand to be a luxury brand. If all this branding stuff is overwhelming, I've created a entire video going through a worksheet that's gonna help you dial that in. And that is going to bring us to client experience. This is where the magic happens. In order for people to want to spend more than the average with you, you are gonna to have to go the extra mile every step of the way. Here are some examples of how you can do that. Send them an outfit guide before their shoot so they can feel confident in bringing the right options. Send them a pre-shoot questionnaire asking what their favorite music and snack is so that you can have a treat waiting for them and be playing music that they love right when they walk in. Have a sign with their name on it when they walk in. Include hair and makeup so they feel pampered on the day. Be encouraging during the shoot so they feel confident and amazing. These are so good. They're so good. There are hundreds of little things that you can do like this along the way that will improve their client experience. By the time you get to the sales session, they'll already be feeling so incredible that they'll be ready to walk out the door with a bunch of their pictures. Which brings us to the next thing that you're going to need, which is the in-person sales session. You guys, if you take 
nothing from this video. If your brain gets erased except for one section of this, I want it to be this one. The in-person sales session is going to immediately, I can't even tell you, immediately double or triple or however much it ends up being your average sale. This is not just my own experience. A bunch of the people who've gone through my accelerator course have said the same thing from 200 to however many, I'm gonna pop up a couple here, simply by just changing to the in-person sales format. This is the part of the process when she's doubting herself the most. She's gonna have to confront pictures of herself that she's historically not really loved. And this is your time to guide her, to be her cheerleader, to get her to think about how big of a step this was for her to take to come in with a stranger and take pictures and be vulnerable and how incredible they look and how incredible she looks in the photos. And this is my favorite part about this. A lot of photographers are really afraid to do like hard sales tactics and pushy sales tactics. In this setting, you're just support and that is enough. There's no hard selling to do. By the time she's gone through the entire process of everything that we've talked about so far, seeing her pictures with the slideshow, realizing what she's overcome, feeling so amazing about herself, she is going to buy the pictures and she's gonna feel amazing about it. Speaking of the pictures, you're gonna need consistent image quality. Now this may sound like a no brainer, but pretty much everything that we've talked about up until this point has had nothing to do with the quality of your images. Your client needs to have some level of confidence that when they show up, they will get pictures that they love of themselves. They should be able to imagine what they will look like in your pictures before they pick up the phone to call you. So take down any average pictures that you've got, any ones that don't quite fit and just get rid of them. Throw, throw them away, throw them, get, Awesome, bye, see you pictures. Only show your best work. All right, so they trust you, they've come in the door, they felt amazing because of an incredible client experience, they love their pictures, and now none of it really matters if you don't understand pricing psychology. If you put all of this together and they sit down and they look at your pricing guide and the top collection is $300, they're only going to be able to spend $300. You want to have a price sheet that is designed so that when they look at it, they go, oh, no brainer. I'll just get the middle collection. Such a good deal. The number of photographers that go from averaging $250 a shoot to $1,500, like literally the first time that they implement my pricing guide is just hilarious. Obviously I can't go into this entirely in this video, but I'll give you an example. You could charge separately for the album and for the digital. So let's say it's $1,000 to get an album with 10 images in it. And it's also $1,000 to buy 10 digital images. However, if you buy the collection, you get both the album and the digitals, it's only $1,500. Immediately saving you $500, what a great deal. I want you guys to keep an eye out for this as you like move through the world. You're gonna see this pricing psychology everywhere you shop. Now, everything we've talked about so far is going to be incredibly difficult to do if you haven't worked on your own perceptions around money. So if you're watching this and you're saying things like, Michael, you charge way too much. It's funny that desperate people have enabled this corrupt mindset. Or, I thought robbery was left to bankers, not the artists. Just a few of my favorite comments I've received on YouTube teaching other photographers to have successful businesses over the years. If you connect to this mindset that somebody paying you a lot of money is somehow theft or stealing or taking advantage, I want you to refer back to the reactions that you saw earlier in this video. After women have picked up their albums, after they have already paid their money, and look at the smiles on their faces. Look at the sense of wonder. Listen to the way that they talk about themselves. Talk about self-love. Yeah. I'm loving myself uh, a lot right now. These are happy people. So if you see boudoir in a negative way, or charging your worth in this negative way, then you're not gonna make these kind of sales. You might not even make enough to run a sustainable business to be able to continue to shoot boudoir full time. And that's something you're gonna need to work on. When I was struggling with this, I read a couple chapters of a book called You Are a Badass at Making Money. It really shifted my ideas around the stories that I'd been telling myself about making money. Was it good? Was it bad? When was it good? When was it bad? And I definitely suggest you check it out too. Now I get it, if all of this seems overwhelming, you just want the answers on how to put all of this into practice. I just got a message last week from this guy, Matthew. He picked up the course, changed his pricing guide and made $2,700. He even says that the client didn't even bat an eye. And why? Why didn't they bat an eye at $2,700? Because what we're really talking about is value. There's a difference between price 
and value. Price is how much something costs. Value is how much it's worth to someone. And the reason why boudoir photography is worth so much is because it's a powerful enough experience to change someone's self-worth. And to me, the value on that is pretty limitless. Go ahead and scan this QR code, or you can go to this link, boudoircourses.com, to get access to my accelerator course. It has helped tons of photographers 